I don't even have anything to say to start this video. Uh, we're packed in my office like sardines in a can tonight. I just had to check to make sure I could still turn my chair around because I have this bed right here, over there, boxes. Usually my wigs are stacked up on this side, but this side's also occupied. So we're just going to make this work. We're going to make it work. So I'm going to get the link to shop pinned down below. Maybe if Facebook doesn't do me dirty. Oh, come on. There we go. Alrighty. Hi, Sabrina. Hi, Linda. Thank you, Callie. Hi, Karen. You guys, I'm, I'm beat. I'm bushed. I'm ready for bed. My husband's going to make sure all the kids get tonight's their, their first day of school back tomorrow. So it's like our first school night school routine in a long time. So my husband's going to make sure that all the showers are taken while I'm doing this video and you know, it's been a long day. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Karen. Thank you for sharing. Hi, Connie. Hi, Cheryl. Hello guys. Hi, Bassie. So I guess I should have looked through my text messages from Shirley because I'm, I'm pretty sure these are new releases, but I could be wrong. Um, so we'll just wait for her to jump on and, and tell us. Hi, Linda. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Rena. Hi, Donna. Hello, guys. Hi, Susan. I was just last night. I got the head start. You know how your kids bring home like a stack of papers the first day of school? Well, when you have three kids, it equals out to be a lot of paper. So I'm glad that my daughter's elementary school, you get to get them ahead of time. So I got her papers completed and ready to go back with her. So tomorrow I'll only have to fill out my boys papers. Hi, Christina. Hi, Millie. Hi, Christine. Hi, Vicki. Everybody share this video out. Monday's not our typical wig party night. Although, didn't we just do a wig party on Monday? Huh, I don't know. Hi, Serena. Hi, Gina. You love my white teeth? Oh, I was just looking at them this morning thinking that I need to bleach them. I need to charge my device. Hi, Kathleen. Hi, Lori. I hope everybody had a good Monday. You know, Mondays is kind of one of those days of the week. Look, look at, there's no help in me at this point. It just is what it is. But Monday's usually one of those days of the week where people dread it. And I don't. I don't really because it's just like it comes every week. Sometimes it feels like the good start of something new. Like trying to set a good routine for me for my work schedule. Trying to, you know, really organize things. So it really doesn't like. I like Mondays. But I use on my face these days. Uh, right now I have on Saint and Frankie Rose. Hi, Julie. You got your first wig today. Haven't got to try it on yet. Oh, rip that sucker out of the box. You like my shirt? Thank you, Beth. Thank you for sharing, Marsha. Hi, Lisa. All right, has anybody seen Shirley on here yet? Oh, you're welcome, Sharna. I don't know if Shirley's on here yet. Uh, -uh why'd I just take off my... <laughs> I'm getting ready for bed. I'm taking off my whole wig cap. I should, let me open up my computer. You threw your back out, you're laying in bed. Oh my gosh, if I, well, I gotta finish Juliana's room. I gotta finish her room. And then I think I'm going to take like a whole day off because I'm beat. Like I almost got her whole room done in a week other than the fact that there was some like shipping delays. And then, um, all while still working a full-time job. I know I didn't do any live videos last week, but I, I think I'm needing a, a whole day off. If you guys want information regarding the teeth, the shirt, anything like that, just send me a message and I can get you the links. Hi, Annette. Thank you for sharing. Hey, Joe, jo, I'm so glad I can see your comments. Hi, Audrey. Marlena, thank you for sharing. All right. See, I already got distracted. What am I looking for? Let's see... Uh, no, I thought she texted me about these. All right, well, we're showing Henry Margot. I don't know if they're new releases or not. You know, I came unprepared like usual. I know we always usually have two of each wig to show, but, oh my gosh, what a great night. I can't even get it pulled out of here. But I don't have any room here to, like, unpack them and organize them, so... We're just going to have to try them on as they come out of the box. 
You need to know the skincare products that I use. So what I use is you have to purchase it from like an authorized retailer, like esthetician. It's called DMK. So I use that whole line once a day. And then the other time I just use CeraVe stuff. Hi, Lori. Link for the shirt. If you send me a message, I can get it for you. Alrighty, let's get started into this. I'm going to try and be done in like an hour and 25 minutes just because it's our first school night and usually the kids aren't tired because they're used to staying up late and I'm going to have to help with that. Hey, Ann. Hey, Claire. Hi, Tilly. Hi, Lorraine from Montana. Jacqueline, thank you for sharing. Alrighty, so this is Brie, B-R-I-E by Henry Margot. This is a petite one. And the color is 26GR. And this one is a fully hand-tied cap. Fully hand-tied cap, full mono top, lace front. Uh, my wig uh, grip cap, this is from Shirley's Wig Shop as well. Oh, Shirley's having problems getting me live on her laptop? Okay. Sounds good. Alrighty. Let's, let's see what they're envisioning with this one. Let me, let me rough it up. I don't even have my regular uh, Renee of Paris brush down here. I put it in our bag that we took to Kennywood and it's, it's still sitting in that bag. Pouring rain there in PA. Oh my gosh, we have been having some of the worst thunderstorms. I think, David, wasn't it just thundering about 30 minutes ago? Yeah, like the worst thunderstorms for probably, I don't know, the last three to four days. And there was a clap of thunder. Or I don't know if it was thunder or lightning last night. That was so loud. Like usually I'll sleep through storms like that. It was so loud. It woke me up. Hi, Donna. Hi, Rachel. A lot of rainstorms in New Jersey. Oh my gosh, I don't even have this wig put in the right place. So you guys, number one for this being a petite cap, it feels fairly roomy, although I will tell you that I did move the adjusters all the way out. Uh, what color is my hair? Dark. <laughs> so it is lace front, and it does have the full mono top, so you can part it anywhere that you want. And I did have it kind of styled with the bangs there for a minute, but I forgot that it was lace front. So let me see if I can get this to... Uh, go back at all because I would probably style it a little something like this. I would get a little bit of the Tressalore wig wax spray and I would direct the bangs clear back off my forehead. That's how I would do them. Obviously they're not going to stay up well because I don't have any product in it right now, but you get the point. So here is the side and the back and it does have some nice length here back at the nape of the neck in case you have a lower hairline. Oh my gosh, I just want them to stay where I want them. But it's hard to do with no product. And like I said, this is Brie by Henry Margot, and it's the color 26GR. Yeah, that's for sure how I would wear it. I would wear it kind of like back in a pompadour. But if you wanted to wear it with the bangs down, Shirley, you are finally here. If you wanted to wear it with the bangs down, you absolutely could. And this would be one that would be really cute too with a bandana. You love the short wig? Love Juliana's tour of her bedroom. She's a real comedian. Oh my gosh. It's like I didn't realize she was going to show like each individual item that she owned. <laughs> That's what I was like, all right, hurry up. Just show them your furniture. Show them the setup. Move along. But no, she was like, no, if we're going to show them, we're going to show them everything. I ordered red carpet and the lace on the front of it is so big. It can't work because you can see it so bad. Uh, you can trim it a little. Uh, Shirley, are these new releases? Oh my gosh, I don't understand this box. Oh, maybe they, maybe because I pulled this out and I wasn't supposed to. I told them, I was like, I know we're showing Henry Margot, but I really don't know if they're like new releases, what they are. I was like, I don't, I don't know. Patricia, thank you for sharing. Hi, Deanna. All right, and if you guys just jumped on, uh, like I said, normally I have room down here in my office to unpack everything, but I'm like blocked in on all sides. So while we typically have two of every wig, and I'm sure we do, I don't have them pulled out or in order just because of lack of space. Hi, Jane. Silent watcher for about two weeks. I just love your down-to-earth personality. You're also beautiful and have gorgeous wigs. Well, thank you so much, Sherry, and I'm glad you left a comment. 
you missed the grand tour well pamela the video it's still not the grand tour because it's still not finished but we're almost there joe i can read your comments Alrighty, so this is Mariah by Henry Margu, and this is the color 8H. We have worked hard. <laughs> Normally, I'd be like, oh, it's no big deal. You guys, I, if I said that I wasn't about to drop dead from exhaustion, I would be lying. It's a night of Henry Margu. Use coupon code MAGGIE30 for a discount. However, Mariah is special sale they have with Henry Margot, and she has $70 plus shipping. All right, you guys, this one is $70 plus shipping. All the other Henry Margot, you can use coupon code MAGGIE30. Does Shirley use Cecil? She has uh, Shop Pay, I think it's called, which is essentially the same thing. Hi, Denise. Hi, Tara. Yes and no. Some are, some aren't. This is just what Henry Margu wants to highlight. Hey, you know me. I'll try on whatever is sent to me, unless it's the Ellen Vila wigs that my husband had in the garage and did not tell me. <laughs> Alrighty, so the inside of Mariah, it is a machine-made cap, but you can see that it has a little bit of lace here back at the crown of your head. I, You see that a lot on some Ellen Vila wigs as well. Wall-to-wall -wall boxes. Oh, I know. And you know what? Our card, like today was our recycling day, so cardboard went today. Uh, and now my husband, I think, wants to kill me because um, there's there's more cardboard that was delivered today. I was dying the day of the, ho the house tour after people kept saying you're rich. Oh, my gosh. I know. You know, you know, people just like to people just like to have something to say. I guess it makes them feel important. I don't know what my problem is today. I can't get a wig on my hairline to save me. This, this wig, um, the style reminds me of Patricia Richardson that, you know, that was on uh, Home Improvement that played Jill. This reminds me of a wig that my mother would like. This is basically like my mother's haircut. I would say that this is very similar to Alva, but not with the amount of permatease that Alva has. And that lace that I showed you is right here, guys, right where the hair is parting. Hi, Darylin. This is your granddaughter saying it's got to be a good one. Hold on. I have a tiny head. Can you order with a size? Are there smaller sizes? So there are some petite wigs. You can actually, if you go to Shirley's web website, click on wigs, then you can select petite cap. It'll show you all the petite ones. But depending on what your size is, a lot of the average size ones can all be adjusted down. Hi, Kitty. Catherine, you agree too? Yeah, this is a Patricia Richardson wig. So here is the side of Mariah and the back. And to me, it just feels like, you know, uh, all one length bob. It does have some shorter layers here, I guess. So it's not all one length, but it's definitely not stacked. And then it has this little bang. And since it is a machine made cap, you could move the part. But just keep in mind, if you do move it, you're not going to have that little lace feature right there. The name of this one, Angie, is Mariah. And she is on special right now for $70. That one's cute even though it has bangs. You know, oddly enough, those bangs weren't very offensive. I didn't even have to like, you know, you know how I do. I didn't even have to do that. You know how I do it. Her boxes can, her boxes can confusing me. I guess it's kind of like a Tressalore box. All right, Maggie, be smarter than the box. All right. Yeah, it's kind of like a Tressalore box, but I, str I struggled with it. It was a struggle. I look 12 in that wig. How does it do in Florida? Humidity, humidity will not affect a wig. Not at all. If you have long, thick hair, can you still wear wigs? You can, Brandy. So good to see you. You're beautiful and wise with all the wigs. I know. Isn't that crazy? $70 for that wig. I, I wish. Whenever I tell you guys that I literally have no room down here. Like, number one, this appears further away. You see how close it is to my chair? But just take a look-see here. Like, I, I literally got no space tonight. <laughs> And it just is like, I feel like I can't breathe. 
Uh, are my kids excited to be going back to school? My oldest son probably is because him and his girlfriend will be in the same school this year. Um, Julian is excited to see one of her friends. Her little, like, best friend from last year is in the same class as her this year. Although, I'm sure tomorrow morning it will be tears for her. It usually takes her about two months to kind of adjust to a new routine. Um, and Bentley would probably just rather be homeschooled again. Done a great job on our room. My anniversary is September 3rd. So your husband told you you could get a wig or weight loss shot since I'm always asking him. For both. My hair is thin and I'm fat. So it's, <laughs> so it's like skinny or fat. Hey, I say get the wig because you can lose weight without the injections. I've been a silent watcher and I'm watching from Malta in Europe. Well, I'm glad to have you here, Elizabeth. Hi, Denise from Arizona. Can a wig be upstyled? Yes, it can. Hi, Deanna. Hey, Jessica. We do still have our rats. We do. Well, a couple of them have died, but rats only live like two years. But we still have them, but they all reside in my boys' room now. Alrighty, so I haven't even checked the name of this one. This is Morgan. And this is the color 2418GR, and it kind of puts me to mind of brown sugar sweet cream. Am I wearing makeup? I am because my face is still burnt from whenever we went to Kennywood and peeling. It's, it's a real gross situation. So I'll try, if I get too close, see, you can see the peeling skin. So, Morgan is a hand-tied cap with a full mono top and lace front. Don't forget, Shirley said you can use coupon code MAGGIE30 on the Henry Margu wigs. And let's put Morgan on and see how she looks. Hey, Benita from New Hampshire. My, my younger sister lives in New Hampshire. Goodness gracious. I, I literally, have I forgotten how to put a wig on? Like, where's your hairline, Maggie? Alrighty. It does look like brown sugar sweet cream. Let me, see, let me see if I can get these bangs out of the way. Hi, Carol. I'm never gross. No, I, I can definitely be gross sometimes. <laughs> I did take a shower this morning. And you guys, my, my, uh, this is, this is one of those wig parties. Um, my laser hair removal is working. I'm impressed. All right. I think we're okay. Hi, Linda from St. Augustine. Haven't been to Kennywood in like 15 years. I was kind of disappointed in our trip this time because they had so many of the rides closed. It was like a big disappointment. All right. First things first. You guys can tell that this wig is wanting to fall in front of my face. So, number one, there's the hairline. She's gorge. And... Um, the first thing I would have to do if I was keeping this one is I would either have to wear in a little top pony so I could try to train the hair to go back, which that looks super cute. Or this is my favorite way of training a wig. I just put a hat on. The heat from your head will redirect those fibers. Super simple, easy peasy, good to go. So that's the first thing that I would do if this wig was mine. Oh, I didn't brush the back, so you're just going to have to use your imagination. But she feels like about a 20 to 22 inch wig. And don't forget that it is a full mono top, so you can part it wherever you want. But I'm kind of liking this left part. And I really like these layered pieces here in the front. And the color, like I said, if I was comparing this color, I would say that it's a slightly darker than brown sugar sweet cream from Beltrus. Just slightly. An older video and he said oh Karen you live in Weirton yep girl that's that's where I am starting to think most girls on Instagram real wigs all their hair wigs or extensions I would say that a lot of them wear extensions but some of them wear wigs I wish more people would admit it because then it could just be like then I could if I admired your hair I could have that hair too is this wig cream the one that you are saying that is this one that looks like that from Belle Trust. Uh, br uh, brown sugar sweet cream is a color. 
by Bell Trust. And I think that this color is similar, although not an exact match. I would say that this one's a little bit darker than brown sugar sweet cream, but not quite as dark as mocha with cream. And that was Morgan by Henry Margot. Hi, Ingrid. Hi, Anna Marie. Uh, you've only missed three. Uh, hi, Diane. They're not heat friendly. No, Henry Margu is not heat friendly. Have I tried the extensions? I used to wear extensions back when I was in cosmetology school, but I have not for a while. Wigs are a thing now. They're trending for sure. Hey, Shirley, the extra stuff in this box, is it for me or are they for prizes? Hi, Sharon. You're in love with my necklace. It's adorable. If you're talking about this one, just hold your horses because I'm going to have to do a post. All right, this is Morgan again. Now, this one looks like... It's a little bit darker than mocha with cream. So I would say that the last one we tried on is a little bit darker than brown sugar sweet cream. This one is a little bit darker than mocha with cream. And this is the color 82733H. What was the color of Morgan? That is 2418GR. Is there a color that has gray and brown? I'm doing chemo. Melody, I know there is in the Tressalore line. Uh, the nose ring is from Amazon. Alrighty, Morgan. I already told you that. So Morgan is a hand-tied cap, full mono top with a lace front. Don't forget, you can use coupon code Maggie30 on these Henry Margot ones. That wig was beautiful, Tiffany. Those caps are all mine. Oh my gosh, Shirley, look guys. Shirley must have got sick of me complaining about my wig caps falling apart because they're so old. New follower, you're really funny. Well, thank you, Julie. If I go on Shirley's site, will she have info on payment on site? Yes, she will. This one is kind of like mocha with cream, but with a little bit more of a reddish undertone to it. So it would be really pretty color for fall. Oh, and the Henry Margot spray, that's on me too. You do know that that's my favorite conditioning spray. The Henry Margot second runner up would be the Aesthetica one. This is the first time I've seen you. You love wigs. Well, Susan, I'm glad to have you here. How is Georgia? She goes back to the vet tomorrow. Her eye popped again. So I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. The color of the first Morgan, hold on. Whoever purchases this wig on Wig Out Wednesday, I'm leaning the box up with my bare feet, so I hope you don't take issue with that. It is a 2418 GR. Are any of the ones shown today human hair? No, but Shirley, you told everybody, right? Didn't you tell everybody about the human hair? TBD, to be, to be determined. Uh, do I sell wigs, Mary? I personally don't, but my friend Shirley is the owner of the wig shop that sent me these wigs that I'm trying on. So I have her website listed down below, and then you can use coupon code Maggie30. You love the color? I just, I need to pay attention. I feel like I'm answering more questions than I am talking about wigs tonight. Hi, Patricia. Uh, Henry's wigs. Does that one have permit? This one has no permatease, uh, because it's a hand tied cap. It is a very pretty color. House Pongo, just like rotten it like always. I wish that dang dog would let us cut his toenails. Even tranquilizers don't work. Uh, Rena, these are the same set of nails that I put on initially. I've just filed them this short. Thank you, Marsha. I'm a classic. Oh, Tilly, you know that's all I ever want to be. I That's what I want people to remember about me whenever I die. I want them to be like, that Maggie Wells, she sure was a classic. Uh, Henry Margoof, fits very similar to Belle Tress. All right, guys, this is Janet in the color that I said is kind of similar to mocha with cream. Don't look at, Don't look at my pants. And don't mind the cat hair that's on this. 
Look how cute this would look for fall with a hat. Super cute. Now I've got nowhere to put it. Here, I'll just stick it on the corner of that box. But this is Morgan. She's gorgeous. And the color, I think, has a little bit more red. Um, but it's really nice. And if you guys like low-density wigs, like if you like um, Dulce and Dulce 23 by Beltress or Counterculture, but you don't like a lot of hair, this is a very low-density wig. Are you trying on the Henry Margot that Shirley showed in the back last week? I don't know because I just cut open this box right before I started the live video. Uh, Leisha, so the discount applies to the Henry Margot ones. My, you can use my coupon code Maggie 30 all the time. However, if there's um, already a coupon code generated in there, gorgeous you, you can just leave that one in there. You don't have to put mine in. Uh, yeah, I would say that this is kind of similar to Seekiss RT4 as well. But like I said, it does have just like a, a, I wouldn't call it red, but more red undertones, if that makes sense. Uh, you can announce now that we carry human hair wigs from iWigs.com. I got the first five and we'll be sending some to Maggie Wells. Now that night, guys, you best not be telling me to cut the tags on any of those because I'm telling you right now, they are out of budget. <laughs> But I will be more than happy to model them for you. Hair in my face. Thank you, Re. That color looks golden. I wouldn't really say it. I would say that it has more red undertones than golden. You're beautiful. You look anything. I don't know. Hi, thank you. Brie is spelled B-R-I-E. B-R-I-E. Oh, and that's what we're trying on again. So, Brie... This one is a petite size cap, but like I said, I moved the adjusters out and it kind of just fit me like a regular size cap. The wigs that are long do not recommend, what wigs that are long do you not recommend, do you recommend that are not heavy? Um, I, it all depends on what you consider heavy. Um, like I don't think Dulce and Dulce 23 is hair dense. I don't think Counterculture is really hair dense. Rosella. I do feel is hair dense, even though it's a shorter wig. Um, it, I, that's all that comes to mind right now. Uh, when you think it needs wash at all. Oh, you're responding to a question. These ones are not heat friendly, Casey. Sorry if my text sound weird. George got fixed today and I'm trying to comfort him and balance that with our wig party. Uh, no worries. I completely understand because we just went through that last week. All right, so this is Brie. She has a hand-tied cap, full mono top, lace front. And this color, actually, let me hold it back here. This is definitely gray, but for some reason, I feel like it's picking up. Well, I don't know. This looks like it has some sandy blonde and gray mixed in this. This is the color 38-56GR. Henry Mark is not heat friendly. No. You love the curl pattern of Rosella? Rosella was my very first wig. As a matter of fact, I was going to dig out my Rosella, my very first wig, Rosella in the color mocha with cream the other day, and that's the one that I was going to wear to Kennywood. And then I never got around to it, and I honestly probably just need to buy a new one because I wore that one a lot. All right, don't forget that this one is a full mono top, so you can part it anywhere. It is also lace front. We'll style it first with the bangs down on the forehead. I would use some wig wax and really add in the volume right there, but that's just me. Have I even been turning around on any of these wigs? I don't remember. But here is the side of Brie and the back. And like I said on the last one, it does have a nice amount of length here at the nape which is really nice if you have a longer hairline. If you don't have a longer hairline and that's too long for you, pay no attention to this. That's my real hair right there. You can trim that a little bit. What was the color of the second Morgan? That was, where's the tag? Did I pull the tag off? 
Did it even have a tag on it? I don't, I don't know what the color was because I have apparently, what in the work? I'm gonna have to autograph this one too so you guys know that the tag came untied. <laughs> so you guys won't think Shirley's sending you a used wig. Let me, let me put my little name on here so you guys know if you buy this one on Wig Out Wednesday that this is the one that I pulled the tag off of. <laughs> and the color was 8 slash 27 slash 33H. So I'm going to bury that in the bottom of the box. I'm just falling apart tonight. Love all the colors. You think Butterbeer Blonde was made for me? I love Butterbeer Blonde. Okay. My post-its in the bottom of that box. Like I said, there you can see that the tag came untied. I was sitting on it. Sorry about that. I've, I've put my autograph in there so you know that the tag was destroyed by me. <laughs> All right, I showed you the back. All right, so this is with the bangs down. However, remember that it is lace front. The way that I would personally style this one is I would take where the schools were calling. I would wear it back as a pompadour and just have these little fringy pieces down is how I would wear Brie. Thank you, Tilly. Thank you guys so much. What's wrong? I'm just exhausted. I'm exhausted and I am literally surrounded by boxes right now and uh, feeling very claustrophobic. Uh, something like that short way I come with less. Julie, I'm not sure what your question is. Maggie, something like that short wig come with less hair. That one is very low density. Alrighty. We're back. We have circled back around to Mariah. So excited to receive your first wig today. Almost afraid to try it on. Oh, Kelly, don't be afraid. Just put it up, put it on your head and head out the door. Hey, Pamela. All right, so Mariah is our little machine made cap number that has the little piece of lace installed right at the crown. This one is not lace front, and this is the color 26H. I know, Shirley. I don't know why we couldn't see her comments before. It had to have been a Facebook issue. Or... Joe, were you in Facebook jail? Because if you're in Facebook jail, you can still watch things, but you can't, your comments are restricted. I'm not saying that you would have been in Facebook jail, but I'm saying maybe that was what the issue was. Again, Mariah does not have offensive bangs in my opinion. It's just a cute little bob. front, back, side, and this is the one that Shirley said is on special for $70. Uh, generally, how long is shipping if the wig is in stock? Uh, that would be a question for Shirley to answer. You're in the hospital because you're totally dehydrated. Oh no, Diane. Hi, Carol. Hi, Janet. This is a cute little style for $70. You really can't beat that. You can't beat it, ladies. Facebook is something else. It's it's really, it either works or it doesn't. That one makes me look like my daughter. That pretty much is Juliana's haircut. Although she always, she always wants bangs cut and then she always wears them over to the side. It's a discount on Shirley. So for Henry Margu, you'll use coupon code Maggie30. Alrighty. And like I said, Mariah, yeah, Mariah's on sale for $70. Joe McGill is always in Facebook jail, but you, I bet you she was in Facebook jail and that's why her comments weren't showing up. They were like, no lady, you've, you've lost your privileges. <laughs> so are the Mariah's in stock with you? In stock with you, Shirley, or at all? 
Jeff. That's a Shirley question. I should have not read that one. Can I come redo your room now? Oh my gosh, guys. The only part of redoing a room that I enjoy is the painting. Everything else I hate. Which is why I never finish a room. Colleen, you're just listening while you almost fall asleep. That's what I want to be doing right now. All right, next is Carly. And this is the color 10 slash 613 GR. Cur Curly. Dear Jesus, don't fail me now. Carly is machine made cap with no lace front. Maggie 30, uh, Shirley says Maggie 30 will also work for Raquel Welch and John Rennell. Am I being filtered or ghosted on some lives? But not all, so I know I'm not in jail. Just something glitching. Yeah, it's probably just definitely a Facebook glitch. Uh, made a deal with Henry Margu. They will ship from them to me and then me to you. Well, that sounds lovely because then... <laughs> Because then you know that Shirley's checking over your wig. Want a wig and shaded biscuit, heat friendly, longer. What do you need? You would need Scene Stealer by Raquel Welch. That's what I would suggest, but I would reach out to Shirley first to confirm whether it's in stock. But Tina, I can't wait until Nitro 22 comes out either. Next month, I think. I need two of those. <laughs> Actually, three. You know what I'm thinking? I need, uh, I need a wig in some sure strawberry. I was just looking on my, my Facebook memories the other day, and I had a red wig on. I'm like, oh, I really miss that color. I looked like Wolverine. I did. I did for sure. All right. What, I, what, I, what is this one called? Carly. Not to be confused with Curly. <laughs> this wig is not called Curly. And this color, guys, if you are a Belle Tresswear, this color is the closest that you're going to get to a Butterbeer Blonde in the Henry Margot line. Uh, yeah, you, Facebook, you can't live with it or live without it. That's for sure. All right, so here is the side of Carly and the back. It's just a longer pixie cut. It is machine made, so you can part it wherever you want. But keep in mind that it is not lace front, so you are going to wear it with some hair down on your forehead. And she's an easy style. Where do I store all my wigs? I store them in this closet back here and I keep them in their boxes. Next, yes. This one was Curly, next will be Mo. I was just checking out some of the names I can see to see if I can't make a mistake on those ones. Make my list. Oh, Shirley. I don't need to be spoiled. All right, so what was this one's name again? Carly, Carly. Why can I not remember that? Thank you, Jennifer. Connie, Carly is cute. Juliana's sending me text messages. Let me say. <laughs> oh my goodness, this child. Hold on. I told her, I was like, stay out of my office while I do this. I need to concentrate on this. There's literally no room down here. And so now she just texts me instead. How much is the first long hair one you showed? You can't find it. The, what was that one called? Morgan? Is that the one that you can't find? So we have not discussed, but we have five new releases from Ellen Vila and three from Raquel Welch. I thought we could do a split screen again and show the same wigs. Yes, for sure. That was fun. I'm down for that. My hair is super, super long. Should I be scared to be hot or all the things? I would say no. But what do you consider super, super long? She's a good kid. She is. She keeps trying to cram the, that lamp that she bought in her room everywhere, and it doesn't fit anywhere. So she pulled out all of her dresser drawers, put the lamp there, and said, it fits. 
And I said, we'll see. I said, it might make it look too crowded. And she just texted me back and she says, but can we keep it there for nine days? Is that you, sissy? Yes. What color uh, for Carly that was 10 slash 613 GR? We will see about keeping it there for, for nine days. But keep in mind, once your bed is built, there might not be as much room as there now. Get out of here. It was fun when we did the split screen. Shirley. She is sweet. She is sweet. She's going to try and get her own way. That's not going to happen. All right. So I almost caught it curly again. What is wrong with me? Carly, again, is a machine-made cap, no lace front. This right here is the color 8 slash 14H. It's a really, really nice, pretty brown with just some very subtle highlights there on top. Not very bold, standout ones at all. She's great. She's a ham. I, so I let her, so I built that, like her, like little entertainment center thing today. And I helped her put some of the stuff on it, but I let her fill the drawers. And then I told my husband, I was like, tomorrow, whenever she's at school, I'll go through. And then I still need to get rid of some things. And then I'll help like make the organization make a little bit more sense and stuff like that. They're being shipped to us, but not showing until September 1st. We might need to reschedule a show or two. We can do that for sure. Just let me know what you want to do. Hi, Lucy. This is a gorgeous color, and I really like how subtle the highlights are. Like how it kind of almost just makes your hair look shinier. Like the, the highlights aren't like bold, like stand out. I do need sleep. It's bad enough calling the first one curly, but then I almost said it for this one. I know. All right, so here is the side of Carly and the back. And like I said, this is just kind of like a longer pixie. It's got these nice little curls that kind of flip out in the back. It is machine made, so you can part it wherever you want. Just keep in mind that it is not lace front, so you are going to wear it with some degree of hair down on your forehead. Thank you, Joe. Curly. If you search for curly, you're not going to find it. <laughs> the color of this one, Annette, is 8 slash 14 H. It is a beautiful color. I just like how subtle the highlights are. Butters has come to join us. My dog just came over to me thinking I caught her. Her name is Carly. Uh, where are my gold necklaces from? So I'll be doing a post about this one soon. And then this one's from Amazon. Sleep is good. Yes. Get some. Yeah. Oh, it's not likely because we're back to school tomorrow. Alrighty. A stretch. Okay. This one should be easy for me to say. It's my sister's name. This is Katie. Why should we call this one Carly? You can't find Carly. Be like, I can't help you, Joe. If you can't find Curly, I can't help you. You slept two hours and 13 minutes last night? That sounds like my kind of sleep pattern. I'm still tired from whenever we went to Kennywood and I had been up since 1230 at night. What I made you first start going live? Well, I started this page because of my weight loss. Um, and that's how I started doing the live videos. What number was the last one? How's it? So, Diane, these fit very similar to Beltress or Aesthetica. And that last one was Carly in the color 8 slash 14H. All right. So, Katie in the color 1B. So, this is going to be black. And there's a little Georgie barking. So, she has a left lace part and is lace front. Georgie must see uh, butter sitting down here. Thank you, Kristen. This is like a grown out Kris Jenner. No, no, Georgie. 
you can't sleep for beyond five hours. I have no problem falling asleep, but if I wake up for any reason, uh, it doesn't matter if it's like 45 minutes after I've gone to bed or three hours after I've gone to bed. It's just time for me to get up. Like, I'll never fall back asleep. This is cute. I feel like we need sunglasses for this one. Oh, oh please. Let me pull my shorts down again. topic I just got lash extensions how do you remove your eye makeup safely I just use a cleansing water but who makes it Garnier I think this is cute super cute it's a little stacked bob guys super adorable I do have it tucked behind my ear but you could wear it out if you wanted to just keep in mind this one is a left part only so you're not going to be moving that part around but it is lace front hair. Look how good that hairline looks for it being a dark wig. Oh look, that looks cute too. Let's try and see if I had a bobby pin. I found one. Look, that would even look super cute too. Adorable. You love this black one? It's so nice. Can you see Georgie, please? No. <laughs> I'll have to do a live video whenever I'm up there sometime, but I can't, I could take you guys up there right now, but I literally would have to trip over a sea of boxes to get up there. That is a Kris Jenner grown out. How's Olive doing? Just bad as always. Is your cat Butter still trying to go outside? He is, Claire. He is. I don't. We just don't want him to get hit by a car. And if he doesn't get his act together, I don't know. I guess I'll have to try and rehome him. And I really don't want to do that. We've had him for five years. He's like part of our family. But I also don't want to go outside one day and see him smushed on the road. You want those sunglasses? My friend Colleen Todd sent those to me. You love that one, Juanita? She was cute. That was Katie in the color 1B. And now we're going to do Katie in the color 2418GR. My room is closing in on me. Uh, when you get your veneers, you can't use bobby pins on your teeth. You know, I only have one bobby pin because I don't wear bobby pins. Alrighty, so Katie again is left lace part, lace front. My room is closing on me tonight, but I'll get Juliana's bed built tomorrow and then that'll be two more boxes out of the way. I like the darker one better on me. And usually I like myself in lighter hair. Hey, Renee. Hey, ladies. Hey, ladies. I would still tuck this side behind my ear zhuzh it out up here on top. I would also build some volume back here with the wig wax. Do I have a new chair? I got this chair, I think maybe, maybe two weeks ago. Katie is super cute for sure. So here is the side of Katie and the back. Like I said, it's just a nice stacked bob. It has a beautiful lace front. You could do the same little, little twist right there. Pull that piece down. It's nice, super soft fibers, super lightweight, and it lays really nice straight out of the box. The darker is much prettier. I agree. Never worn a wig. I'm worried it wouldn't stay on. Do you have to glue them down? Tammy, it will not come off. I promise. I wore wigs on Thursday on roller coasters, and now I did glue down just right here in the front. And the last time I actually used wig glue was last year when we went to the amusement park. And it did not come off. I did look better with the black one for sure. Whew, it's hot down here. You like the black one better too? Me too. We're, I think we're all in agreement. I'm gonna take a, a drink. That's been sitting on my desk since 5:30 this morning. It's really warm and really gross. 
The color of that one is 2418GR. Hey, Tammy. Hi, Barb. Oh my gosh, I have like really bad anxiety about my kids starting school tomorrow. What wig blue? It's called It Stays. Uh, Patty, on Thursday we went to Kennywood. This is Carmen. And Carmen has just lace installed here in the front. So you're gonna be able to move this part around pretty much wherever you want. And this is the color 5H. Yeah, I just wear my wigs with a wig grip. I promise you no amount of wind. I mean, I guess unless you were standing in like a category 500 hurricane, I don't know. <laughs> it's not gonna make your wig come off. She's adorable. Carmen's cute. Thank you, Angelique. I knew when you got back, but I never heard. Oh yeah, we went to Kennywood. I can't remember the kind of wig wax I said. It is by Tressalore. You can get it on Shirley's website if you go to accessories and then synthetic hair care. It's the wig wax. It's in an aerosol can. It has um, a teal lid on it. You've never heard of it? Strange. It's located in Pennsylvania. Thank you, Barb. Okay, here is the side of... This one reminds me of Carly. But you know what the difference is? Okay. You know what the difference is between this one and Carly? This one's lace front. So, if you wanted to do it with your bangs pulled back, you could. You need the cat nets, which you can attach to your home. Have as big or as little as you like. It allows your cat to go outside, but no further than you allow by the size of the netting. You can put branches in there for them to climb. Well, we can't really put in too much stuff in our yard because we, this is just a rental. And we have no trees. Like, our neighborhood has no trees. I think there might be one, like, one block down. We're a treeless neighborhood. Uh, what color is that? This is the color 5H. You know what, Maggie? I used to get bad anxiety myself when my kids started school every year also. Well, I know it's just because it's transitions are really hard for Juliana, and I know that that is usually, like, a two-month-long struggle. Um, and I mean, like, in hysterics every morning, tears, all of those types of things. And so it just causes a lot of anxiety for me. Me and my husband also like our kids being home, and I told him today, I was like, because he's even, like, kind of anxious about it, too. We go through this every year. And I told him, I said, I think maybe it hits us a little bit harder than some other parents because we spend day in and day out with our kids. Like, me and my husband both work solely from home. Like, we don't have jobs where we leave the house and the kids go to daycare or whatever. Like, we are home together all the time, 24-7. So, just like how when kids start school and they're like, oh, it's such a long day. Like, for us, it feels like a really, really long time for them to be gone because we're not used to them not being here. Carmen is super cute. And like I said, I think she's nearly identical to Carly, except for the fact that she's lace front. But everything that we've tried on tonight has styled really well straight out of the box. I should sport a red wig for fall. That's what I did last year, but I need to get a new red wig. I doubt if you're, if you're catching any shade from the tree down the road. No, certainly not. Our neighbor used to have a pine tree, but he cut it down two summers ago. Uh, you were tired and anxious for your kids starting back to school, but in true Maggie style, you showed up for your wig party. Thank you, Claire. I don't know. Well, sometimes it's just good to keep yourself occupied. There's nothing that you can do about it. And I guess by me doing the wig party, it like puts off the fact that We've now hit the end of the day. It's the last day of summer vacation. You know, kind of like that letdown you feel when Christmas is over. That's kind of what I feel today. Hi, Pammy. You got your Harley and Chocolate Frost Star today. Do you love it? The color of that one was 5H. This is Carmen again, and this is the color 10 slash 613 GR. So this is going to be the one that I said was 
closest to Butterbeer Blonde, except this one does not have the rooting, I think. Yeah, this is 10 slash 613. If you want the one that has rooting, you're going to get 10 slash 613 GR. And then just to recap, it has a little piece of lace installed here in the front. I have a beautiful personality. Thank you, Cynthia. I'll take that. I mean, we all have the ability to be ugly sometimes with our personality, and I'm no exception. But I try to be a good person. Thank you, Deb. That's a great thing about cat nets. You can take them down whenever you want. I'm in New Zealand, I can't imagine. And you have them there, usually behind here. And you know, I just don't think that we have anything that we could secure them to because if we secured them to our house, he would literally just be pressed up against the wall. We were home with our youngest and it was hard every year when spring break, summer break. Yeah, it is. It is. And I think it's just because we're we're home together all the time. Whereas I think like whenever I had a more traditional job and I worked in an office and I was gone from five o'clock in the morning till usually like nine, 10 o'clock at night, I didn't really have that same kind of anxiety because I was gone from them every day. Anyhow, this is more of a blonde Bretta. Okay, here is the side of Carmen and the back. And you can move the part around on this wherever you want. Just, just so you know, you can change it around. I didn't show you guys that on the last one. Thank you, Connie. That cat would burn up without a tree anyhow. I mean, he'll lay like under our rose bushes, but that's about it. I just don't want him to get hit by a car. I also don't want to have to rehome him, but I would rather see him get rehomed to a good home than see him smushed on the road. All right, guys, we're down to the last four. Let's see. What did you hope next? Ooh, this is my color. It was so hard for me when my kids went back to school. I finally started working at the school as a special ed para pro just so you could be with them. Yeah, I could see myself doing that too. I actually signed up to be on the PTA this year. First time ever, last opportunity. Juliana made me do it. So me and my husband are both gonna be PTA parents this year. Never had a wig before, but covering it has caused me to lose 60% of my hair. So you're definitely looking into one. Wigs are so much fun and they're also life changing. How do you do it all? You do so much. Where does the energy motivation push to get it all done come from? Uh, because I'm psychotic. <laughs> I don't, everybody's always like, oh, I wish I had your energy. I don't have tons of energy. I'm actually a very low energy individual, but I also have goals and like things I know I want to do things I know that I want to get done so I just push myself through my constant state of exhaustion these are all Henry Margot yes watch out for those know-it-all parents I know I'm sure they probably won't want us there all right hope is machine made here on top but it does have a lace piece installed here at the crown and there is no lace front so you are going to have to wear your hair down on your forehead but Butterbeer Blonde go well with a fair skin tone. I don't see why it wouldn't, but I would say that it also kind of depends on what your undertone is. Left your bedroom unit. Looks so cool. Thank you. You know what? That, I was, I bought her two other cube units off of Wayfair. And I got it and I built the first one and I'm like, this is not going to suit the needs that she has. So yesterday morning, I got on Ikea's website and you can like design your own. And so I ordered it at like noon yesterday and it was delivered today. I That's the first time I've ever bought anything from Ikea, 
let alone delivered from Ikea. I was highly impressed and the quality is really good. They were super, super simple to build, but I like that they had the like design your own feature um, because it, then I can make sure that it like fit the space. And I also had like, I put the cabinets in it, drawers in it. Um, so you can get just like the standard cube unit and then you can add those enhancements. I can't wait to hear stories from the women haters at the PTA meeting. Oh, I'm sure nobody will talk to me like usual. Story of my life. People don't talk to me. PTA is good. Keeps you inside of school activities. Well, because of COVID, like the last two and a half years, there hasn't really been any activities. You love this one? This one's super cute. Here is the side of Hope and the back. And you can part this one wherever you want, but since she's being pretty friendly right now, she's not being cantankerous, she's not hanging in my face, I'm just gonna leave her where she's at. Just keep in mind that it is not lace front, so you're gonna wear these these front pieces forward falling. You love Ikea? Me and my husband went to Ikea one time. That's actually where our nightstands in our bedroom came from. And it was just like a nightmare to walk through. And we both vowed, we were like, we will never ever do that again. Um, so I've never really looked at anything there, but honestly it was that whole thing, including like the add on doors and drawers and stuff like that was only $200 more, not even quite 200, like $178 more than what I paid for just two basic cube units that were garbage quality. Why don't people talk to me? I don't know, they just don't like me. Our couch is from Ikea and it's wonderful. You can take off the covers, wash them, which is nice when you have cats. Becky, I wanna have to look into that because my husband, our, our dogs, I mean, we have four dogs, constantly has our couch filthy. And my husband is constantly using the rug scrubber on it, like the handheld. But I'm going to have to look into that. Are their couches like super, super pricey? It's hard work walking around Nike. It's just confusing. It's like, give me, uh, give me my potted plant and get me out of here. I have the best personality you all supposed to no matter how you feel. Thank you, Cynthia. Hey, Dorothy. Hi, Louise. All right. So we're still with Hope. Machine made, no lace front, but it does have lace back here at the crown. Thank you. It's such a nightmare to go through. My anxiety was through the roof. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's too much stuff. It's just like overwhelming. It's too much. Not at all, and you can order different color covers too. So let me ask you guys this. We have a gray colored couch, light gray, kind of like the color of my shirt. And my husband's like, this was the wrong color couch to get because these dogs are constantly getting it dirty. He said, we should have got a darker one. And I'm like, but if we would have got a darker one, we have two, well, yeah, we have two animals that are nearly all white. Georgia has white on her and Emmy's ivory color. I'm like, then all you would see is the dog hair. But then we also have a problem with them getting dirt up there because they run outside, play, play in sand, play in dirt, do whatever they want. And then you can see like the muddy paw prints on the couch. So what color couch would you guys get? Let me know. Thank you, Carol. This color is adorable. This is 4H. I used to, truth, fun fact, I used to be in 4-H. Used to go to 4-H camp and the whole shebang. I'm a Delaware. What are you guys? You're gorgeous and people are intimidated by you. Well, they shouldn't be because guess what? I put my pants on two legs at a time, just like them. Uh, we can't do a leather couch because of the toenails. We Leather's what we had before this. Don't worry, no one likes you either. I know that's me. Nobody likes me. Front back of hope. This one's gorgeous. Nobody likes me because I must have a very off-putting personality. I've inspired you to lose weight. That's awesome. This wig is Hope by Henry Margu, and you can use coupon code Maggie30 on this wig. What about couch covers? They would just they would just pull it off. Like if I can't zip them on, they would be off. 
mushroom color couch. It hides all the dirt, but that wouldn't go with my motif. I kind of want, um, like an orange, I kind of want like an orange velvet couch. That's what I want. Do they have orange velvet covers? That's the kind, if I get a new couch, that's what I want. I want orange velvet or kind of like a green, but not like dark green, forest green, like, I don't know, like green, green, but really orange velvet is what I would prefer to have. Have you ever thinned out a part to look more natural? I haven't. <coughs> well, even if I reupholstered the couch, I mean, what color would I do? But see, like tweed colors, like tan's not my thing, you know? I'm too much for vanilla flavor deck. I'm too much for a vanilla flavor decor. <laughs> My favorite, my favorite piece of furniture in this whole entire house, last year, me and my husband were driving somewhere, probably to pick up Juliana from school or go to the gas station or something. And somebody had sat on the side of the road, two original cane back chairs. One was orange velvet. The other one was this like puke green, lime green velvet. And so we took the orange velvet one and I wish we would have went back and got the green one too, but we didn't want to be selfish garbage pickers. We wanted to save some for somebody else. That is literally my most favorite piece of furniture in this whole entire house. This like 1970s orange velvet, like cane back chair. Chef's kiss. I love it. And if anybody has one of those that you're wanting to get rid of, let me know because I would like to have another one. You have three dogs and cat and my leather has held up amazing. Well, we have two dogs that even if we fully sedate them with tranquilizers, still do not let us cut their toenails. So they literally have to go to the vet and have to be put under full anesthesia. So we can't do leather couches here. I mean, their toenails get like this long. Emerald, yeah, probably like an emerald green, but I would rather do orange. Like, I would rather have a couch that's like this color. I'm, I'm just wearing this wig like it's my own hair. On to the next. You love the style of Hope? I'm sure you could do a low pony and Hope. You could probably even do a black one if you tried. What about a black velvet couch with the push pin button? I can't do black because we have all white animals. All of our animals are white except Georgie. I love retro furniture too. It's my fave. Alrighty. Last is Avery. Scotch guard my existing couch. I guess I could possibly do that. I'm going to try that one on last because it's a blonde and I don't know what this color is, so it might scare me. Oh, it's a blonde too. That wig, Tiffany, was Hope by Henry Margot and that was the color 4H. And I can't get this wig off. It's a machine made cap, so you can part it wherever you want. What was the blonde color of Hope? It was, that's not the right box. What in the, what in the heck did I do? Where did you get this shelf light in your daughter's room? Amazon. Uh, the blonde Hope was 10 slash 613 GR. I think it's easier to vacuum a couch than shampoo. Well, we have to do both. You got the shirt you have on it so comfortable, Diane. This shirt is so comfortable that I have two of them. I bought two. I bought it when the on the initial release, and then when she restocked it, I went back and bought another one. All right, so Avery by Henry Margot has a center lace part and it is lace front. Hey Judy, did Hope have a lot of permatease? Oh, 
wouldn't necessarily say a lot, but it definitely had some in there. And this is the color 25GR. You think you need two also, you need two wigs also? I'm seriously gonna get up here and look at the couches. I mean, obviously I wouldn't be able to get anything until like next year. Anyhow, our couch that we have now is only a year old, but it literally has taken a beating. Between three kids and four dogs, it has seen better days. This is cute, just something nice and basic. What color are my nails? It's just a white and pink ombre. You love this one, Barbara? There's just, sometimes you just need like nice, simple, average hair. I love long wigs, I love beach wave wigs, but sometimes you just need like easy peasy hair. So here is the side of Avery and the back. It is lace front, so if you wanted to pull it up in a little mini pony right here, which that would be super cute. Here, use your imagination. Yeah, 10 slash 613 GR for the blonde hope. And the dark one was the color 4H. Do I, we don't have a love sack store near us. And if we did, I would never get one because I don't have thousands of dollars to spend on a couch. Like I would rather spend $500 on a couch and trash it in a year. You know what I mean? Look how cute this would look. It's a bus stop hair. Once school starts, you literally spend half your life at the bus stop. So my fiance tonight, I want to get rid of our old recliner and get another Ikea couch. Do they do like, I mean, I don't need like a big like L-shaped sectional because that wouldn't fit in our living room, but I need a couch that has two like chaise lounges on the end and then two seats in the middle. Uh, one day I lost my pen under the reading table. I couldn't read the rest of that one. I'm washing your car. Imagination. I'm washing my car with that wig and sunglasses on. Yes, 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 yes. I could see myself at the bus stop with that on. With the little front pulled up like that, sunglasses. Because we're doing busing this year. We're not driving kids to school. The love sacks are so expensive. Yeah, it, that is just like ridiculous. Like they're like $10,000. No way. All right, so this is Avery again, just a different color. This has the center lace part, lace front. This color is pretty. I don't think we've tried this color on yet. This is this reminds me of Chrome by Beltrus. This is the color 60 slash 101 GR. Oh my gosh, could you imagine this color hair with a black shirt? It would be adorable. And this is the perfect length of one that you really wouldn't have to maintain as often because it's not rubbing up against your back. You're welcome, Patricia. Not sure, definitely check out their couches though. They are nice for the price. It's just not anything I would ever be able to afford. And even if I could afford it, I still wouldn't spend that much money. That's kind of like the post that I did earlier about the coach purse this week. That was $475. Um, my max I will spend on a purse is $150, and then I have to carry it and then resell it whenever I'm done carrying it. Even if I had the money to purchase a purse that was $475, never, ever, ever would I. Good couch with washable slip covers up. More for kids and pets. Well, I hope I can find a couch that has a uh, orange velvet slip cover because that's what I really want. Have I looked at Big Lots Furniture? This is the whole thing about Big Lots Furniture is they don't deliver. So you have to find a way to get it home. Are those roots lighter on this one? Lighter than what? The color of this one is 60 slash 101 GR. This length is so cute. This is also like evening time hair. Like you're just wanting to relax on the couch. You're not wanting to have to worry about your long wig. You know what I mean? It's 
Stuff of Factory has all the colors. Don't know if you have one. They have one that's kind of like a siege in my Jeep, kind of orange, also kind of like a camel color. Avery by Henry Margu, and you guys can use coupon code Maggie30 for Henry Margu, um, Raquel Welch, and John Renault. Uh, it's darker than the Roca Margarita Blonde roots. I would say that this is, the ends are kind of like Chrome by Beltress, but the roots lighter than on Chrome. I would say that this is kind of like Butterbeer Blonde Root. But what I'd recommend for a first time wig wearer, well, Patricia, this would actually be a great one because it's very low weight, light, low density, um, good, easy length. Cracker Barrel is your favorite place to have a lot of retro furniture. Retro as in like 60s, 70s, or retro like primitive farmy furniture. Is Zara heat friendly? Well, there's several manufacturers that have a Zara. So what manufacturer are you referring to? You guys, I might need this wig. I just feel like she's already on my head. What would it matter? What would it hurt? I furniture from Big Lots years ago and they have an outside company that delivers, but of course there's a charge. There's just not anything at Big Lots that strikes my fancy. My style is more like mid-century, modern, eclectic big lots furniture is although my bedroom my bedroom like my bed is from big lots furniture although i would like to get rid of it but i've only had it for two years big lots furniture just doesn't carry my my genre farmy furniture yeah i had this is the whole thing is not that they, I mean, everybody should decorate however they want. I didn't tighten this in too tight because it's not, it's not my wig. Everybody should be able to decorate however they want. But like, I could never decorate my house like full farmhouse style because I don't live in a farmhouse. I live in a 1958 split level, like Brady Bunch style home. It won't hurt. Cut the tag. Uh, the sunglasses, these are the Ray-Ban Ferrari sunglasses. One of my friends sent these to me. The number for this wig is 60 slash 101 GR. Keep this one. This one is not heat friendly. Let me tighten this up. It is not heat friendly. Any other questions before I jump off of here? This is my last one. Get some chalk paint and paint your furniture the color you want. I can't paint fabric. I can't take a cloth fabric couch and turn it into orange velvet with paint. And I also don't like painted furniture. See what I mean? Everybody has their own style. I don't like painted furniture. I like, I like wood finished furniture. Just like the stuff I got in my daughter's room. It's all white, stupid MDF crap, but that's, that's what we got. But I prefer like, see, I prefer like actual, well, you can't see that one wood finished furniture bye joe thank you barb get myself some rest no rest tonight it's a school night we gotta get up early we'll have to get up extra mom will have to get up extra early tomorrow morning so i can make sure that they're up extra early because you know they're gonna be dragging feet tomorrow you can use maggie 30 on raquel welch yes Met your bedroom furniture, I would never paint fabric. I would never paint that bed anyhow because the problem with the bed is, is that I don't like the style of the bed. But, all right guys, I'm gonna get off of here. If you have any questions, let me know. Don't forget that you can use coupon code MAGGIE30 on Henry Margu, which is everything that we showed tonight. Raquel Welch, John Renault. Don't forget that there is a special on Mariah for $70. Uh, the color of this one is 60 slash 101 GR. Take my day off. I can't. I have, I, I know it appears that like I don't work or I don't have a schedule, but I, I do and I'm scheduled to work tomorrow. So I actually am scheduled to work tomorrow. And then I also have a very important business call tomorrow uh, as well. Thank you. Thank you guys. All right. If you have, a, if you're wanting to order wig, number one. I would email Shirley's customer service and confirm that the wig color that you are wanting is in stock so you don't get any surprises about back orders. 
Um, if you have any questions about shipping times, orders that you've already placed, all of those types of things, all those questions need to be directed to Shirley and not to me. I don't have any of that information and I will not be able to help you. Um, other than that, I'll, I will see you guys around town. Love y'all. Bye.